guys, welcome back. Spasmic Gamer and Lothric Legion. And today it is time for more education. Peace. <laughs> 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 Let's get to it, shall we? It's only a little bit. Um so we're still we're still collecting resources and everything for um Oh yeah, we got horses. Horses are important resources, by the way. As in, they let you go everywhere that you need to go super fast. Hey, buddy. So, um, aside from that note of collecting awesome horses, um, we have been collecting more resources. We went back to the Nether Fortress um, in order to make potions, which we got enough blaze rods now. Well, for now. Um, but we still need to get more magma creams. We actually have another wart farm now, so that's nice. So what we're gonna do today... Yeah. We also moved the anvil down here in the, uh, corner. Yes, we did. Because... I forgot to grab it. We made... an enchantment table! Here it is. So, an... an enchantment table is basically a thing that allows you to spend your experience points to enchant your armor and or weapons like bows and arrows and and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay. Let's face it, that's all we need. What, bows and arrows and fun stuff? <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to place it here. And it's so cool, the flippy pages. And the way that you craft this recipe is I put it on screen. Um, it takes two diamonds, four obsidian, and a book. E. So what we need to do now, and we really need to put a crafting table on that side, because I'm getting tired of walking back and forth, is we need to make books. Because books are kind of like the cheatsy way of being able to enchant stuff without p potentially ruining your armor. Like getting an enchant that you don't want on your armor. So, in order to make a book, you have to get leather, which um, we got leather by farming rabbits, but I'll get to that later. So you put leather in the bottom right hand corner like this and you take a bunch of paper and it makes books. So you make books and it takes for you to enchant, it takes your regular levels here, so I'm like at level 22. And it also takes- I'm at five. <laughs> it's okay, you'll still be able to enchant stuff. <laughs> and Lapis Lazuli. Ooh, so it looks like we could get potentially Protection 1, or Blast Protection 1, or Unbreaking 1. Matt, which one do you think I should go with? Depends on what you're trying to make a- a sword, some armor. Well, protection one goes on armor. Blast protection one also goes on armor. Unbreaking one can go on anything. I'd say unbreaking. Bam! Unbreaking one. Oh, I dropped the lapis. And our life is run. No, come here, it's your turn! My turn? It's your turn! I need pages. I, there's a book. I made two. Oh, thank you. Oh, and you need like a billion lapis. Let's go with some knockback. Hmm. Thank you for the uh, lapis, by the way. No problem. And that's pretty much how you enchant stuff. Now, when you're ready to, um, we actually tested it on a few books. On a, on a few books here. So, um, earlier we got projectile protection, protection one, um, efficiency, sharpness, etc., etc. So, let me see. Let me grab an actual thing that can go on my sword. Like, I'm breaking. Knockback can also go on your sword if you choose. So, you put the sword in there, and you put I'm breaking one. So it takes from your levels as well. And then you would take it from this end and it would have the enchantment on it. And if you choose, you can also rename your weapon. I'm a, so I would call it Broken Bad 
broken badass. And renaming, I think, depending on how long. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, renaming also costs a level. So those are the things that you can do. And you can do this with your um, armor. You can... Some people, they actually use mods and they'll, like, do this to, like, chicken and give things, like, really random, like, out there enchantments and stuff. Could you imagine like, a chicken with, like, sharpness five? Oh, no, no. We need exploding chickens. And they don't leak. Hee hee. All the exploding chickens. So, yeah, that's pretty much the basics on, uh, uh on question. enchanting. What? Question, Professor. How do you combine multiple enchantments into one item? Well, first you gotta make a sandwich. No, I'm just kidding. What you gotta oh, do... <laughs> what you gotta do, and I can actually show an example of this, although I'm not actually gonna do it because it would work out, like, terribly. Um, so oh, I no. actually fished up a bow that has Curse of Mending on it. And I fished up a another bow that has regular mending on it but let's say i wanted to combine the two because you know for some reason i want curse of mending on my better bow or curse of mending C curse of vanishing my bad curse of vanishing so i would put the bow with mending and curse of vanishing in one slot and the one with mending in the other slot and it would be a fully healed bow with both enchantments on it or, Matt, where's your bow with, like... Matt got a bow with, like, power three and some other kind of enchantment. Can I see it? Uh, I'm breaking three and power three. Yeah. All I the amazing. I fished up some pretty good stuff. <laughs> so you put mending and the unbreaking three and power three, and you've got an un um, unbreaking three with power three and mending. That's pretty sick. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty sick. But I didn't I didn't combine it. Hey, uh, uh I want my bow back. I'm getting kind of nervous. It, I'm giving it back. <laughs> there you go. You should have seen Matt making bow shots in the nether. It was freaking cool. But on that note, uh, we're gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of an educational video about enchanting. Yeah. Hey boy. <laughs> if you guys like this video please leave a like down below and share with us in the comments what's your favorite enchantment i hope you guys enjoyed and this has been spasmic gamer and lothric legion and we'll see you guys next time see ya